So one of the first things you'll notice significantly different about this car is the sound of startup. So as we go through the startup sequence, right now you've heard a clunk, which yeah. is the hydrogen tank opening, huh. and the compressor of the air that's being uh, fed into the fuel cell stack so we can actually produce the electricity. And it's running now. And the car is running. So you didn't feel the vibration, you no. didn't hear a starter motor. So that's your, really your big first clue that the things are different. The way the electric motor works, which gives you that quietness, is you get the maximum torque at zero speed. So it actually has two benefits. Hmm. You know, it's that quiet atmosphere as well as very responsive when you're driving. And that is the second thing is the, the pickup on this vehicle. There is no lag time like you would get with an ICE vehicle. As soon as you touch the accelerator, you are moving. That is absolutely correct. Great. Let's go for a ride. It sounds good. The other thing that I like about these vehicles, Brian, is that they're actually really fast. Yeah, this car has actually been designed, uh, currently anyway, to uh, be 95 miles per hour at top speed. Wow. So the main goal on that was just to make sure you could, in fact, get a speeding ticket if you chose to in all 50 states. Mm -hmm. uh, in the future, though, the, uh, the vehicle could, uh, in fact, be made to go faster. Mm -hmm. What do you like about this vehicle most? A um, couple of things. I like, one, as we talked about, how quiet it is. Um, it's very pleasant to, uh, to carry a conversation. You know, the sort of the stress of the outside world sort of disappears when you're in your own environment. Uh, the fact that it is zero tailpipe emissions. Uh, that's a very important aspect as we try to electrify transportation. Uh, there's a limited number of resources on uh, in the world for when it comes to oil. Uh, so as we look for alternatives, we need to get uh, you know something that's actually going to provide benefits to the consumer uh, without hopefully having the same uh, sort of impacts that uh, previous energy choices have. Can you talk a little bit about Nissan's commitment to human vehicle interface? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, we think that, uh, you know, in, what, in having somebody enjoy the driving experience um, isn't just about going fast. It's all about, the, you know, being able to be, sit comfortably in a vehicle, peace of mind that uh, you're going to get, you know, from where you want to go to, where you want to be in the safest possible manner as well as reliable. Uh, we've worked hard to be able to make sure that you've got an air conditioning system that provides adequate comfort, uh, that all of your information in the vehicle is in an easily viewed place. Uh, so very much uh, the human inter machine inter interaction is very important. So I think as you'll notice with this car, it does actually drive like a normal car. You know, and that's really one of the uh, the key messages you know from the current status of the technology is that this isn't some science experiment that we're all trying to work on. I mean, we are getting closer and closer to uh, the technology being available to uh, to the general consumer. Well, Brian, I just am absolutely thrilled with the technology behind the vehicle, the ride, the quietness of it. Congratulations to you and your Nissan team. Oh, thank you very much. You know, we've, it's been a uh, very good experience for the team to be able to get to the point where we are now. Uh, more information can actually be found at uh, Nissan's website, uh, www.nissan-usa.com where you can also look on the California Fuel Cell Partnership website at cafcp.org. Well, we are looking to hear more about Nissan in the weeks, months, and years ahead and its advancements in hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and the electrification of the automobile. With another test drive of the future, I'm Matt Kelly for the California Fuel Cell Partnership.